All right, doing those videos on the strongman of history inspired me to wanna um, do some videos on the old school list they used to do. And I was hoping I could do that at the high crew gym because it used to be really, really uncrowded and it still is. But now that I work at this school all the time, I have to wake up early to go there. And when I used to go at my regular time in the middle of the day, it'd be completely empty. Nobody would be there. But now that I'm showing up like around 8 o'clock, there's like all these CrossFit classes going on and people training people and all kinds of stuff. So it's not empty anymore like it used to be. It's still got a lot of space. Nobody's in my way. It's great for my workouts, but it's not just empty and abandoned. Like you can see the gym literally used to be like my Kung Fu is during these slow times when I make my videos. So I could make a video in peace without bothering anyone. And the gym was big enough that I'd be real far away from the person working the desk. So I wouldn't be disturbing anyone. I wouldn't have an audience. I was just free to make my video. So now I don't have it like that. And I just didn't feel like trying to make a video with all these people around. So anyway, I don't have any weights here. So I just have a big dumb stick down here and I'm just gonna talk a little about the bent press, which is an old school lift that people used to do. And if you look it up on YouTube, you can probably find some with people using actual weights. I even saw one with a guy who had like an old school solid 175 pound dumbbell where the um, globes are solidly attached and there's no spin. It's, it's exactly how it used to be. It even had the thick handle and stuff. So that video was pretty good and I recommend it if you can find it. Um, Pavel did a book, Power to the People, which was hilarious, but it had um, one of the most simplified yet comprehensive strength programs ever. Basically, he just was going to hit every muscle in your body with only two lifts. And he picked the deadlift because it hits so much. And then the other lift he picked was the bent press because you're not doing like any pressing and stuff when you're doing the deadlift. So that was kind of hitting the remaining muscles that you missed. And granted, when it hit like every single little tiny muscle in the world, like a bodybuilder where they isolate things because that's not what he's trying to do. He's trying to make you all around strong functionally and just a good, strong, healthy human being. And it was cool. It was super, super simple and I love simplicity. But I personally have about a dozen compound lifts that hit a lot of things and give you a lot of strength that I love. So I don't do something that simple, even though I love simplicity. But regardless, this is a really, really cool lift. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it on this dumb stick and you can see what it was like and you'll be able to see how if there was actual weight on the bar instead of this just being a dumb stick, how I'd have to have like this really strong core and strong obliques and all kinds of strong stability things. You'll you'll see why this was such a good lift. And these old time guys were really strong. They get a lot over their head. Like a lot of them could do body weight. And I can tell you from experience because you've probably seen in some of my videos where I do those one arm clean and jerks. When you have a decent sized load over your head with one arm, you need a lot of stability here. Like even like 155 is pretty pretty hard. I mean, it's not bad, but you definitely need some shoulder stability. So these guys, they were doing amazing things, especially Arthur Saxon. He just was crazy. But even the people like Eugene Sando and stuff were doing well over 250. So these guys were insane. But anyway, I'm going to let you look at this lift in action now on this dumb stick. So hopefully my camera won't fall like it did earlier. So the first thing they do is they prop this bar up, which would be a lot harder when there's weight on it. Then they would try to find a center point and hope that they were good. I wasn't so good last time I tried it. And then they would get it up. And then when they felt it was centered, they would 
go away from the weight at the same time they go up, and then they'd come up like this. And then they'd have a big heavy load over their head. Now had this been a real weight, I would have severely messed up because I didn't center. I have more on this side than I do on this side. So it would have just fallen like that. But since this is just a dumb stick, it's not very heavy. The center point's more around here actually. That's where I should have grabbed it. Now they would have a lot of experience with this and be a lot better at it than I am. So sorry it's so echoey, but that's what the is like. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see that. And maybe it's something I might play around in the future and maybe you might enjoy doing the same as well.